Damn, Bodhi. Fuck that nigga up. Thanks, 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 thanks. <laughs> how you ain't courts off the bank in a knockout? Boy, how you getting home so quick? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, what you still? <laughs> Can't me XLE. Y'all wanna ride? It's right around the corner. Man, Boys Village ain't shit. I'm just too bad for that off-brand little boy bullshit, man. It can't hold me. What you laughing at? What's so funny? <laughs> you was me, your ass still be down there. You ever seen a city jail, nigga? You ever caught a body? I'm the one who just got home, remember? Eight months over on Eager Street with a body on me, nigga. Yeah, you got the one. Yeah, the one you know about. Man, y'all little motherfuckers need to ask around. Yo, out near the county, right? On the high end of the east side? They got these apartments out there, right? So there was this little shorty who used to stay out there. She was like, I mean, I ain't seen a female that fine since. I gotta say shorty was right. You fucked her? Nah, man, it wasn't like that. This was a shorty my uncle was messing with. So, you know, they was going on at it for a little while. So she found out that my uncle got another little shorty ran away. More right to say he got a few of them around the way, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so she goes off the hook and shit talking about she gonna call the police, start talking about shit she ain't supposed to know about. Oh, shit. Yeah, you know it. But see, I got some creep to me. My uncle, he know that shit. So they rolled me out past her crib. And they showed me how she lives right on the ground floor, right? First level. So, you know. I go creeping around the back to the back window. I got the four or five on me, the big gun. And I walk up to the window and I look in and it's dark as shit because it's like three o'clock in the damn morning and shit. You know, you can't see shit. What you do? So I pulled out the piece and I start tapping with the back of it on the window. It was quiet, you know, but it was loud enough so she could hear that shit. That's what she heard, yo. Sure enough, she comes out. She's naked and shit. I don't know why the fuck, but she has a robe, and as she's slipping on a robe, she turns on the light. And you know, when she does that, and it's light on the inside, she can't see shit on the outside. Damn. She naked. She hears that shit on the window, and she ain't got no choice but to walk over there and see what it is. She steps up, looks out, see where it's coming from. What happened? He shot him. Yo, D, if she was all that, why didn't you fuck her first? Nigga, you sick. Just shut up. Where? Stop no, no, I'm just saying. So, is that it? Your client must realize that any agreement is dependent on his full cooperation. Well, yo, there ain't nothing else. put you with her the night she's killed. Yeah, I didn't know they was gonna do her. I swear, they played me. How so? My own 
uncle gave me an eight ball of coke. Told me to take it over there to her. I was surprised because, you know, I thought he dumped her. But he said, nah, I wasn't like that no more. So, yeah, we be take me over there. You know, I walked up, knocked on the door. She came to the door all naked and shit with this little ass robe on. So she's your uncle's girl, but she comes to the door for you naked. She used to do that shit with me all the time, man. Teasing. You know how girls do. Maybe you don't. I don't know. Anyway, I'm like, think you gonna let me come in? She's like, nah, because she gotta get ready for my uncle to come by later. So I give her the coat. She laughs about how she's gonna put that shit on ice for later on. Refrigerator? Uh-huh. I don't know shit about no refrigerator. Like I said, I ain't going. So I turned around, started walking back to the truck, and I heard this shot. We bay, he come running back with this big ass 45 he liked to use so much. Tells me how he was tapping on the window real soft. How with the lights on, she had to walk all the way up because she couldn't see what was on the outside. And when she gets up to the window and looks out, You did good, D'Angelo. Yeah, you did. Y'all don't understand, man. Y'all don't get it. Grow up in this shit. Father was Butch Stanford. You know who Butch Stanford was in this town? Mm-hmm. All my people, man. My father, my uncles, my cousins. It's just what we do. You just live with this shit until you can't breathe no more. I swear to God, I was caught side for eight months and I was free in jail than I was at home. What are you looking for? I wanted to go away. I can't. I want what Wallace wanted. I want to start over. That's what I want. I don't care where, anywhere. I don't give a fuck. I just want to go somewhere where I can breathe like regular folk. Give me that, and I'll give you them.